This is a great little park. So they've got eight cabins, a bunch of tent sites. This says tent sites, but these are actually the RV sites now. They got nice bathrooms, office, a big like group area. It's really pretty. I'll show you around. Here's the office and clubhouse. If you're camping, you can use these little carts to go to your campsites. This used to be a long time ago, like a summer camp and it all got abandoned and decrepit and then they rebuilt it. So I'll show you some of these cabins here. The cabins have a fire pit and picnic tables. So pretty. This would be a great place for like a family reunion. So here are the cabins. Look how cute they are. I probably could arrange to give you a tour of the inside. Unfortunately, I've just been so busy visiting family and friends while I'm here. I have not had any time to really give, get enough footage to do this place justice. I'm hoping someone from the staff would make their own video and really do this due diligence, like a promotional video. Look at this really neat little place for group gatherings. And here's some more cabins over here. So peaceful. Right in the heart of Palatine. Who would have thought? I'm really grateful for these preserving opportunities, preserving the beautiful resources that we have. And now we're coming into the tent sites. So there's a picnic table and a hook for your food. There's fire pits. All these little campsites right around here. So they're pretty close together. And they feel safe. I think I counted 18 sites. I'll have to check that on the map, but oh, we're good. A squirrel. Hi, squirrel. Gosh, they're so cute. Well, there are squirrel lovers and squirrel haters. <laughs> I'm a squirrel lover, <laughs> but I've never had one destroy my stuff. I don't know if it's because I love them that they don't destroy my stuff or something else. Anyway, so this loop brings us right back to the clubhouse again. And then there's a couple more campsites behind this big wildflower. I don't know what you call that massive wildflower section, which gives some um, privacy to these campsites over here. And then this trail here leads to the forest preserve, um, which we'll go see that in a second. I'll take you for a walk over there. And then here's the showers and the back. And then over there are the RV sites. Really love this place. The bathrooms are really clean. There's showers and a toilet. I'll give you a quick shot of that. You'll wanna take note that uh, the maximum stay is six nights in a row. So now we're gonna walk up back past the office and loop around to the RV loop. There are only five RV sites. It was built pre-COVID. There's five little campsites in this little loop. And there's our Sophie. And their sites are quite large, big enough for a large RV like ours. and. It's situated in a forest preserve, surrounded by beautiful trails. Now, if you stay in site four, like we did, 
you gotta be careful because there's a fire hydrant right here that when you park sideways, you might not be able to see it. And you might do something stupid like I did. I, I hit it and it did a lot of damage. I'm like really frustrated that the fire hydrant looks okay. When you're in the car, when you're sitting in the car, you can't see it. So it was my fault. I should have known it was there. I did know it was there. Ah, shoot, I'm so sorry. I ruined this brand new car. Oh, damn it. Ooh, look what I found. Someone left a rock. Ooh, oh, that is so cute. I love that. The park is nestled inside the forest preserves, which is really cool. Hi, cutie. Hi. Hi, cutie. Hello. Oh, Daisy. Don't chase it away. Aww. The staff is amazing, and I'm so glad we got a chance to discover this beautiful park. Mm -hmm.